Well, as most of us already know, Hastings, with its physical beauty and the Hudson River and the Palisades Cliffs, has always been a big draw for artists to come here, to work here, to settle here. But what many of us may not know is that there is an arts commission that has been set up to encourage and foster the work of these artists. And we're certainly glad to have joining us today Nancy Di Natale. She's the new chair of the Arts Commission, and she's joined by visual artists Susan Cooper, whose work right now is currently on display at the Municipal Building. It's good to have you both. Thank you. I'm delighted to be did here. I, did I say that right in terms of the mission of the Arts Commission to kind of encourage and foster the work of artists? Very much so. I just I usually add to that that we're not only encouraging and, and fostering the artists that are here in Hastings, and that's probably our primary role, but we're also bringing to Hastings art from other places that we feel is important to Hastings. It may be site specific, it may deal with issues that um, Hastings is dealing with, like the waterfront, like mm -hmm. brown fields, like uh, green spaces, like sustainability or something like that as right. well. So Susan's work right now is currently on display at the Municipal Building yes. and I've had a glimpse and it's amazing work. Very big scale. Do you typically work in large scale? I, I work both small and large. I make sculpture as well, but mm -hmm. I really like working at that scale, at least 64 by 74. It's, it's just a great size because you can kind of enter into it and, and be lost in it. Mm -hmm. um, you do something called trance paintings. Yes. Yeah, Tell yeah. us. <laughs> you, you don't go into a trance. <laughs> well, not literally. Uh -huh. I just want to make that clear. Right. <laughs> Um, so I think about them as trans painting because rather than be guided by sort of an exertion of will or ego, I like to be open to lots of possibilities while I work. So it's becomes sort of like a conjuring. Mm. So in other words, <clears throat> you try to stay away from overly planning how the art's going to evolve. Overly planning and also overly looking. Hmm. And I know that sounds strange because it's a visual medium. So, right. you know, you go and look at a painting, but I f personally, when I work, if it feels right, then that's what I go with. As hmm. soon as I start looking at it and judging, is this right, is this right, is this right, right. I'm off track. So you're trying to trust your stuff and yes. sort of go with your artistic you're, intuition. Well, yeah, you're, I'm trusting... <clears throat> my body in mm -hmm. a way so it's a very kinetic process as well right. a dream you could also think of a waking dream now you're not literally dreaming dreaming and you have to come back to you know reality after a point but it's a trip and not you know <laughs> an LSD trip right. but it's a way of we of, do have to walk Warburton and pick yes. up our dry cleaning and do all those real things <laughs> yes so um, formally I think that the work really benefits from um, letting my letting the kinetic aspect and the the sort of experience of having it feel right um, or authentic. Let's say authentic, and then formally it seems to come together with. Nancy, um, is it? It must not be a challenge for to get artists to gravitate to Hastings because there is so much physical beauty here. Uh, do you find that the sort of artistic quotient of the village is gaining all the time or? It certainly feels like it to me. I moved here about 10 years ago and I'm, mm -hmm. I have never lived in a place as long as I've lived here. And, the and what, reason, keeps you, what keeps you here? The reason I'm, I'm still here is because of the people that I've met and mm -hmm. a lot of it has to do with the creativity. And it amazes me how many people are here who are artists of one sort or another, whether it's visual arts like Susan, mm -hmm. or whether it's somebody in film or somebody doing dance or mm -hmm. musicians are just, I can't, I can't believe how many there are here. Do you and think I it's just it. because the village develops a reputation as being you know, a hospitable and welcoming community to artists? Or is it one of these things that feeds on itself? I think it feeds on itself and there's a huge history of artists being mm -hmm. here in the community and settling here. Mm -hmm. um, that um, you, it's not hard to go to the historical society and get a very long list of artists that have lived here, not only in film, but also photographers and 
musicians and people that the whole world knows. Right. And it amazes me that they've, that, that, that they've been here, but as the longer you live here, the more you realize that it's really a wonderful place and there's, you start collaborating with people mm -hmm. in the community. Susan, you have several paintings that are called halo <clears throat> paintings? Yes. Tell us what, what those are. Okay, sure. I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, first of all, I would say that I'm very interested in the idea of animism, which would um, indicate that everything that exists in the world, and everything does exist in the world, and I wonder where everything does go, ultimately, mm -hmm. anyway. Um, but so, in the idea of animism, everything has a life force animal, vegetable, mineral. Um, so, in these paintings, which I refer to as landscapes frequently, there are inhabitants. So these inhabitants could be in any one of those categories, and some I know, and some are un some are known, and some are unknown. Mm -hmm. And so I I kind of want to honor the idea of the connectiveness of everything in the world, of of this sort of more universal idea that nothing is really separate. So I'll frequently give halos to uh, entities that one wouldn't normally think of having as a halo. Mm -hmm. So y you know it it goes contrary possibly to a lot of uh, religious thought systems, but um, it's my way of commemorating. Mm -hmm. Well, nobody should have an exclusive on halos. They're such a good thing. You need to spread them around. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nancy, what is what is the difference between the Arts Commission and, say, the Rivertown Arts Council or River Arts? River Arts, Rivertown Arts mm -hmm. Council is services the river towns. So it did start in Hastings originally, mm -hmm. but it has spread and grown and it's a phenomenal organization I find that covers um, Hastings, Dobbs Ferry, Ardsley and Irvington mm -hmm. uh, and they're very strong in a lot of the music, um, a lot of the dance arts, um, they've got the studio artist tour that... Um, Love that tour. Isn't that yeah. great? And it's the wonderful. Take Me to the River Music Festival? Take Me to the River Music Festival is 12 Miles North, which is another phenomenal group that does right. a lot of festival, a lot of interactive work, mm -hmm. and they're doing something that's coming up just this weekend called Nothing that is in Hastings. Right, I read and about that. Everybody should be um, yeah. clamoring to go to that. It's about Andy Warhol. Right. Oh. Yeah. yeah. What's really? been the reaction to Susan's work that you've, you've heard? I was... I was delighted with the reaction and I was holding my breath because they, we've never had a show like that in the municipal building and it was embraced by first by the staff people that were in the building, that, that work in the building and then by the rest of the village and we, Susan's had numerous phone calls about the work, people mm -hmm. interested in, in acquiring it and it's a great strong first exhibit for us to have in the municipal building to get us started down the down the new track. So. That's great. Well, it's, and it's on display through mid-February, correct? It says mid it says February 4th, but I think it'll be there for an extra 2 weeks most likely. We're going to be doing rotating shows, mm -hmm. and so we're just getting the rotation going, but it should be about every 2 months that the outdoor exhibits that we have, and we do have one called Memory Lane Up. If mm -hmm. you, you may have seen the Spirit Houses, mm -hmm. and I hope you've put in, um, you've contributed <laughs> your memories and your thoughts about home and Hastings already. But right. that'll be up through April, and that will be rotating in those same spots with different artists. Those will be rotating those four spots um, probably three times a year. Great. So, and we'll have rotating work in the community center here as well. Terrific. Well, I look forward to actually going in person and seeing the work, and Nancy to keep uh, keep up on what the Arts Commission is is up to. I look forward to keep being back here again with some other artists for you. To we'll have you back with. anytime. Very good. <laughs> All right. Looking forward Thank to you both it. for joining. Thank us. you okay. so much. We'll be right back after this. We're taping this program on Valentine's Day, a holiday that we often think of as being for the young and the in love, but sometimes signs of caring cross several generations as it did yesterday at the Hastings Community Center when some of Hastings seniors got together for tea with the Girl Scouts of Hastings. And we have two of those Scouts with us today, Rebecca Caperso, uh, 